Welcome to Time News. Today we will be discussing the latest developments in the longevity industry over the past week. In this episode, we will have a total of 11 news pieces to share with you. First, let's get started with biological clock. David Sinclair's team developed TimeSeq, an economical method for epigenetic clocks, demonstrating accuracy in over 1,800 mouse models across various tissues. This approach, up to 100 times less expensive, reflects interventions and yields a cost-effective human blood clock for large-scale studies. Chinese scientists proposed a multi-model transformer model to accurately estimate biological age using facial, tongue, and retinal images. This multi-model image-based approach offers a feasible strategy for assessing the aging process and identifying risks associated with chronic diseases, which is in PNAS. When it comes to drug targets, researchers from East China University of Science and Technology found that Lactiplantibacillus plantarum X7022 demonstrated memory improvements in aging mice, reducing oxidative stress, inflammation, promoting neuron protection and positively influencing gut bacteria, suggesting its potential as a therapeutic option for age-related memory impairment. PF0469 a DO inhibitor for PI3K, AKT, and mTOR, exhibits senolytic properties by specifically eliminating senescent cells. It reduces senescent markers and induces apoptosis by inhibiting S6K and AKT phosphorylation. These findings suggested as a promising senolytic drug, which is done by Citroen Agriculture University in experimental gerontology. In cell metabolism, Washington University revealed that a subset of neurons in mouth hypothalamus play a vital role in regulating aging and longevity in mice by influencing physical activity and white adipose tissue function. Modulating these neurons show promise in mitigating age-related issues and extending lifespan. What can we learn from the animals? In aging killifish brains, proteins with basic amino acid decrease due to translation issues, not mRNA. This isn't from faulty proteasomes, but from translation pauses, reshaping the protein. It reveals a vulnerability in aging brains, problems in making basic DNA and RNA binding proteins linking to various aging signs. Next is about ovarian aging. The study in the Journal of Ovarian Research identified 73 aging-related differential expression genes common to polycystic ovary syndrome and cellular senescence, shedding lights on the intricate mechanism of ovarian aging in PCOS for potential diagnostic and therapeutic strategies. Ovarian aging in mice occurring before follicular exhaustion involves increased immune cells and reduced collagenase pathways in stomal fibroblasts, leading to elevated ovarian fibrosis. Follicular cells display induction in stress response, immunogenic and fibrotic signaling with aging, which is in nature aging. The study unveils a novel mechanism in aging hearts. Reduced P2X4R expression leads to diminished mTOR T1262 phosphorylation, promoting cardiomyocyte apoptosis. This pathway could be a potential therapeutic target for age-related cardiac issues. A new update on a universal mechanism of aging. Chinese scientists uncover a molecular clock involving DNA G quadruplexes during cell replication, impacting aging across species. Mutations in G4 processing enzymes speed up this aging process. Finally, in aging cell, a study found that ICM, a small molecule inhibitor, rapidly induces and synchronizes senescence in human primary cells within six days, offering a controlled model that mimics replicative senescence with reduced pro-inflammatory factors, which is done by University Medical Center Göttingen. Thank you for joining us on this week's Time News. We hope you found these updates informative and inspiring, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. We'll see you in next week's broadcast. Wishing you a happy and long life.